What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Chopper Fit channel. Forgot what I was going to talk about. So I pulled over. <laughs> this is the problem when you try to do multiple vlogs in one day. Um, you make a list and then you forget. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh! I don't know if this is going to still be relevant or not because people are back out and driving like crazies, but. You know, we all kind of thought that with this COVID stuff going on, that the roads were our oyster and everything was great. I'm here to tell you they might not have been. Let's roll that intro and let's, uh, let's have a little conversation. Roll it. Alright guys, so, we all kind of thought, with all the cagers out there quarantined at home, we were safer to ride, which, true, less cars generally should mean it's safer to ride. But I came across an article the other day, can't post it for you because I have no idea where I saw it now. You are fake news, sir. But it turns out... The amount of motorcycle fatalities and deaths and accidents has only decreased by 0.1% during the last two months compared to year to year. And I thought, that can't be right. So I kind of dove a little bit more into the article and they brought up some really valid points as far as why that's happening. The first reason is, and I think we could all be guilty of it when there's no one around you we kind of start not turning a blind eye but we get kind of you know tunnel vision and focus we're not looking for those cars anymore so we're not paying attention to what's coming up at an intersection because we just assume there's not going to be nothing there fact is there's still those essential workers out there still riding and driving their cars and motorcycles so it is very possible so that's one point that I kind of came up with my own. The article didn't really go into too much about that. Their perception was speed. With no one on the road, and they weren't blaming motorcyclists on this. It was, it was a mutual blame. Everyone's going way too fast. There was a ticket issued from someone in California, which I'm sure they got arrested as well where they were going 174 miles per hour. Why? Just because your highway is completely open, you feel the need to do that? It's just dumb. And no, that wasn't in a motorcycle, on a motorcycle. That was actually in a car on that one. But I just don't understand why, you know, there was that need to, to go so fast. But that's what's actually getting us is the speed that's why the fatalities are the same now I didn't compare it to actual motorcycle accidents by itself but the fatalities are still neck and neck with last year people aren't walking away from motorcycle crashes as much this year is what it turns out because when you're getting hit going 70 in a 40 or you get hit going 100 in a 70 guys we're, we're not made of armor even if we're wearing it, we're, we're might probably not walking away from those. See, even just right there, I got a little distracted because I gave a biker the, the two finger wave, took my right eye off of that van that was creeping out. And I just wanted everyone to be aware that, you know, especially with drivers now coming back, um, I might have said it, I couldn't, I don't know if I said it or I edited it out of one of my videos. It's, it's right after they started, you know, relinquishing the stay at home order so people could get out a little bit more. On that day, that first day, I had three near misses. Now, when I say near misses, I mean I missed them by quite a bit, really, but enough to where <laughs> I had to draw some explicitives. <laughs> And it wasn't because of a train this time. <laughs> but it's like they forgot how to drive. It's like they gave their keys to their 16-year-old son or daughter. 
without any training and said, hey, go back in the world, go back to society, go have fun. I'm telling you guys, it's, <laughs> it's making me even more cautious now. Um, I'm, now that I'm hyper-focused on it after that one little guy just kind of creeped out, my eyes are like scanning crazily for someone to cut me off. And I'm going this way and I don't know why. I missed my turn. Let's see if we can't backtrack it a little bit. <laughs> oh, I love riding a motorcycle. I guess I kind of want to get your guys' thoughts on if you're surprised you know, the amount of fatalities this year is on par with last year. Does it surprise you all? Or, you know, is it kind of what you kind of expected? To me, I was thinking like the number would be like 10 or 20% less than last year, but when, when it was within a 0.1%, I was like, mm, there's just no way. And there is, it, the numbers are start lying. So yeah, we got the, the COVID drivers out there and you know, and then everything else in the world. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's just how everything is changing around me. I mean, as I'm filming this right now, we got all the the protests going on up in Minnesota, which, hey guys, I'm I'm all for you guys protesting, but do it like the way Mr. MLK did it. What you guys are doing is just, I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to offend anybody, but looting and burning down places, that's not how you make a point. That's how you look stupid, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <sighs> Wow, how did I start on talking about COVID fatality percentages to, you know, political bad things? Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's turn this conversation around and make it happy. Man, it's been a long time since I've been in this neck of the woods. This is my, my old stomping grounds. Why, why, I missed my turn back there. Actually, the only reason I know I missed my turn was because the last time I was headed to this uh, specific destination, I missed the same turn. <laughs> I was like, something's not right here. Pretty sure I can get where I need to go with this rune de boot. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, another one, run to boot. What's this little boot? I think I've been hanging around Scouse and Diesel and all them guys too much. I'm adopting some of the Canadian accent. It's just so fun to say boot. <laughs> See guys, now we're having fun. Now we're back to happy conversations. Oh, here's gonna be a happy conversation. Time to get on and get on going. My shorts challenger burn some dust here eat my rubber <laughs> yeah this used to be the road when I first had the bike at my old house this was the road I would go on because it's got a 45 mile per hour speed limit perfect for a newer rider it's got some turns to it some railroad tracks a lot of obstacles it was a good road that loop was much smaller though than my current new test loop is but it's nice to get out into some old stomping grounds that's for sure all right guys sorry about the uh, kind of rambling on this episode i thought i had more to it more substance to it uh but sometimes you know you get your point across really quick and then you just ride so i'm gonna let you guys off easy here today uh, i hope you have a good rest of your day catch you on the next dark side as uh, this is the way Chop it out. See ya.